The small country of Bosnia and Herzegovina is situated in the northwest of the Balkan Peninsula. Numerous rivers traverse the mountainous northern part of the country. Fertile soils and a mild continental climate with very hot summers offer good conditions for agriculture and livestock farming. Exotic vegetables also thrive, such as the warmth-loving okra. The vitamin-rich fruits of this plant can be used to make vegan cutlets, traditional stews, and even cosmetics. <laughs> In her garden, near the town of Banja Luka, Biba Malcic grows some rather unusual vegetables. Bamia ima u sebi sadrži tvari, sluzi koji su vrlo dobre osim iznutra, djeluju super izvana. Daughter Gorana helps out in the garden and in the kitchen, where they are always coming up with new recipes. Da, volim, obožavam, pogotovo uštipke ove njene. Recepti su stvarno savršeni. In the summer, Biba's day begins with the okra plants. From July to October, there are fresh fruits to pick every day. The smaller fruits have a particularly delicate taste. Regular harvesting also encourages the growth of new pods. Okra belongs to the mallow family of plants, which can be recognized by their yellow-white, funnel-shaped flowers. One of the world's oldest vegetable crops, it was grown in Ethiopia over 4,000 years ago. This year, Biba's okras are smaller than usual. Flooding in the spring is to blame. Biba had to sow the seeds three times until they finally took root. This past month, she's been finally able to harvest the plants. To je jedna divna biljka koja uopšte ne zahtjeva puno. Znači, naj, e, njen najveći e, problem je uzgojiti je iz sjemena. Znači, kad ona krene iz sjemena, kad ona krene da raste, onda više nemate s njom problema. Hej, hey. je bio dobar ulov? Pa nema danas baš puno van. Nema. Gorana has already begun with the preparations for a midday meal. They're making begova chorba, a traditional stew. Besides root vegetables, the main ingredient is okra pods. The recipe dates back to when Bosnia was part of the Ottoman Empire. Okras were popular as they were thought to have an aphrodisiac effect. Begova čorba se zove baš begova čorba zato što su begovi htjeli da um, je bilo poznati da su kao ženska roši i htjeli su da imaju tu svoju polnu moć. Zato su ovaj oni jel begovu čorbu i potom je dobla i naziv. Biba grows five different varieties of okra. Nemaju različit ukus. Uh, njih ima više sorti, više boja. Uh, ukus je isti. Um, i čak ove crvene, znači Poslije kuhanja mijenjaju boju u zelenu, ne zadržavaju boju. Okra contains many important nutrients. Above all, a high proportion of fiber, antioxidants and vitamins make these delicate pods something of a power food. Pickled, frozen or dried in the shade in long strings, they can be preserved without losing their flavor and valuable ingredients. Biba inherited the garden from her parents and turned it into a small eco-paradise. In the summer, the dacha is their second home and they make frequent use of the improvised outside kitchen. For her okra stew, Biba first roasts some chicken breast. 
Little by little, she adds carrots, parsley root and celery root. The okra pods soften very quickly and are only added when the other ingredients are almost cooked. This helps them to keep their structure and preserves the nutrients. Biba's husband, Goran, helps out with the more strenuous tasks. The war invalid has been retired for several years. Biba plants and harvests the garden in keeping with the rules of organic cultivation. She tries to sell her products to improve the family's income. But of course, she also uses them for cooking. Today, they're making dumplings using juicy Malabar spinach leaves. <laughs> Boiling water is poured over the spinach and nettle leaves, which are then pureed. Biba uses the pureed leaves as the base for the dough. She also mixes in eggs, flour, baking powder, yogurt and sparkling water and kneads everything into a uniform mass. The Malchich family are always trying out new kinds of dumplings. Biba sometimes brings variety to the traditional recipe with the help of zucchini, mushrooms or cheese. Today, Gorana is responsible for frying the dumplings. After being allowed to sit for a while, the dumplings are placed in the hot oil until they turn a golden brown. Voli da eksperimentiše puno sa hranom i obično ispadnu recept super. Nekad ne bude baš najbolje, ali ništa nije strašno. The first spinach and nettle dumplings are now ready for tasting. Just before serving, Biba added egg yolk, sour cream and lemon juice to the okra stew. Goran is Biba's toughest critic. Bosnia and Herzegovina is a mountainous and water-rich country. There are villages in the fertile valleys where the inhabitants still live predominantly from agriculture. Biba and her family get by thanks above all to the natural cosmetics that Biba makes herself. Using her expertise and her knowledge of medicinal herbs, the qualified chemical technician has developed a whole range of ointments and skincare creams. Today she's trying out dried okra pods. She also uses these in the kitchen for thickening sauces. Today she's experimenting with a face mask.
Bamija prije svega poboljšava tu perifernu cirkulaciju, a lice ostaje zategnuto. Samim tim što nam se cirkulacija poboljšava, koža dobija sjaj. Halo, šta radiš? E, čitam. Šta ti radiš? Muljala sam neku masku, pa ćeš da probamo. Pa hajde, može. Češ mi biti pokusniku niće. Hoću. Čega sam napravila masku? Ne boj se, sve je dobro. E, od bamije sam napravila suhe. Da ona malo poboljša cirkulaciju. I da ti se malo koža kao ono napufna, znaš. Neću valjda nateć ko bukla. Nećeš nateć. Izaš ko zambi. Nema banane, zaboravim. Ostavi. Ideš malo ovdje. To je to. Bamija djeluju na kožu kao prirodni botoks. Osim toga, jako je dobra za neke rane, čireve, upalne procese na koži. Puna je vitamina. Vitamin C koji... koji inače dobar, on je antioksidans, inače dobar za našu kožu. Since Biba took over the one and a half thousand square meter garden ten years ago, it's gradually transformed into a natural paradise. She began with organic farming, and now she wants to switch to permaculture, a sustainable concept that respects and reproduces the cycles of nature. Once a month, Biba gets a visit from Sanja Zemanovic. She's a permaculture expert who advises farmers and gardeners like Biba. Do ove cvijećkice koje imaš, da ih malo unutar inkorporiraš. Ovo smo vidjeli, nema kadifica. Imate li kadifica? Normalno imam. Dobro. Imam ove godine. Nešto se zakazalo, da. Jer ove bubice mi zovemo štetnici. Ja ne volim tu riječ. Da, ne volim nija. Zato što zovemo i za... Onda smo i mi štetnici, jer oni jedu to što mi hoćemo pojesti. Mi uvijek u sokove da se dodajemo kad pravimo sokove, oni sviđene, zato što... Da, baš, baš dosta. Ovo je bosnjak. Biba's plots already combine various cultures that complement and protect one another. Ti to već jako dobro radiš. Tako da kompostiraj, malo cvijeća dodaj, malo obrati pažnju kad planiraš, recimo uvijek je pametnije planirati da sjedneš, ne trošiš puno ljudske energije. Znači što manje možeš da ulažeš energije da se ne slomiješ u svojoj bašti, da te bašta ne polomi, nego da radiš nekako u skladu s prirodom, da gledaš kako se ona kreće. Permakultura pravi jela da mi uspostavimo balans u svojoj baštici, u svom životu, u svom stanu. Ona ne morate biti na samu, možete u stanu da se bavite permakulturom. Biba prepares Sanja one of her famous smoothies, which includes some freshly picked leaves and flowers, combined with nuts and berries. Dobro, odiš malo jagoda. Od prilike berijemo biljčice koje nam u tom momentu su interesantne, koje nam trebaju. Čovjek sam inače osjeti koja njom biljka trenutno treba. To je, mislim, vrlo bitno kako smo izgubili intuiciju u prirodi šta nam zapravo treba. Šta nam treba ako imamo neku poteškoću. A measure of plain yogurt or plant milk Blend it all together, and the vitamin-rich refresher is ready to drink. At the other end of the garden, Goran is preparing the fire pit for the evening meal. Bi, bo ću li ja vatru ovu kaću jednu palku, a ti mi reci. Pa još malo. Još malo možeš. Tonight, beef gulaš with okropods. Ta sluzava tekućna u stvari jeste ono što čini bamiju. Bamiju time što jeste ona. Ona je jako zdrava. Pomaže kod mnogih problema želučanih, oblaže sluznicu, tako da u stvari je to njena 
njena dobra strana. A svi koji ne vole ovu sluz, oni mogu da prije kuhanja obare bamiju. Ona će tako ispustiti tu sluz, malo je operu hladnom vodom i to je to. Samo treba malo vremena. Pošto je vlagi puno vazduha. Dobro, to daj ti koje drvo sad možeš. Morat ću, morat ću dodati koje drvo. Cooking okra goulash over an open fire turns out to be a bit more complicated than expected. Plačem od dima i od ovaj i luka. Biba adds the meat to the sautéed onions. Seasoning is added when everything is well cooked. A nije brate dragi pre, ja ne znam ovaj kako je tako previše vrtljiv. Aj sad je ovako, drugi put će biti drugčije. Prvi put radiš bamiju na ovaj način. Pa ja kažem prvi put radiš bamiju na ovaj način. Kuhala se prije toga drugu čuvonu. Između ostalog grah koji ja najviše volim. E sad kad je meso skoro gotovo, onda dodajemo bamiju jer bi se raspala. Goran is responsible for the animals. Feeding them is part of his morning ritual. He's lived in the dacha for the past year on the advice of his doctors. After traumatic experiences in the war and the hectic pace of the city, he's now looking for the quiet life. Pa ne, 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 ne da kažem da su smanjene, nek ne pijem ni 10% od onog koliko sam recimo da unazad godina i po dvije dana pio. Biba and her neighbor Marica are gathering wild herbs. Ja, znaš ti šta je ovo žuto? Nije to, ni zašto. Nije ni zašto, jel? Men djeluje kod je nešto. <laughs> Biba uses many different wild herbs in the kitchen and also in her cosmetics. Now she and Maritza are collecting the herbs for the organic market where Biba sells her products. Sad beremo mentu. Tva ima ovde još i konjogriza, koliko sam vidjela. Nađemo mi tu svašta. Pomagam i berem i za sebe. Ja čaj mrzim u životu. Ovaj zato što Bila sam u bolnici, udeska sam imala i ujutro čaj, 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 više nikad ne pijem čaj. Biba is well known at the market for her unusual product range. At her stand, you can find vegetables that are otherwise only known in distant lands. Ja volim da eksperimentišem. Kod mene u bašti je rijetko šta normalno za ovo područje. Znači, nijedna biljka koja ovde raste nije neka obična. Oni kad dobiju to u gajbici, naravno da će probati. Možda ga ne bi kupli, kad bi vidjeli malabarski špinat. Možda ga ne bi kupli. A ovako, znači, kroz te gajbice gdje dobiju šaroliku ponudu, oni sve to probaju. Once a week, Biba supplies her regular customers with a vegetable box. She's also putting one together for today's market. Banja Luka is the de facto capital of the political entity Republika Srpska and is the second largest city in Bosnia and Herzegovina after Sarajevo. 
formerly a multi-ethnic region, since the Bosnian War, it's around 90% Serbian. While the city is currently enjoying an economic upswing, very few are enjoying the benefits. Corruption and nepotism are all pervasive. The town center is occasionally host to a small organic market. For Biba, it is a good opportunity to offer her products. Organic farming is in its early days in Bosnia, and the products are not affordable for the majority of people. And so the market also tries to promote a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. We are all producers of healthy food, organic, organic, ecological. We try to make something in this city, but it's hard. Najčešće nerazumijevanje ovaj, e, vlasti za, za, za ovakav tip proizvodnje. Jer e, mi već dugo e, hoćemo da nađemo mjesto gdje možemo ovo da prodajemo, znači al, ovaj, ne možemo da opto dobrenje. Dobar dan. Biba's garden is just 20 minutes from Banja Luka. Gorana studied graphic design, but she was not able to find a job in her studied profession. And when there's nothing that needs doing in the garden, she immerses herself in art. portreta, ali izmišljam iz svoje glave nešto. Ne volim baš ni realno, više nadrealno volim. Znači, volim da slikam, to me ispunjava, čini me srećnom i tako. In the meantime, Biba is back from the market and immediately gets on with the cooking. Today, vegan schnitzel without eggs, a dish that was invented by her mother. Mama eksperimentiše. Ovaj, e, pošto mi uvijek imamo višak povrća u bašti, uvijek tražimo način kako da ga ovaj, pripremimo za zimu, da ga ostavimo, da ga sačuvamo. Resulting in this unique mixture, which can be used in numerous other dishes as a substitute for meat. Depending on your preference, it consists of various types of vegetables. Only watery vegetables such as tomatoes or cucumbers are not used. For the schnitzel, Biba adds boiled chickpeas. She often makes this base mixture as a reserve, which is steamed into a dry mass and then frozen. With a little boiling water, Biba mixes ground nuts, sunflower and pumpkin seeds into a creamy paste. This will be the stuffing for the schnitzel. Može proizvoljno, ali moja mama kaže da ne valja bez kikirikija, pa onda kikiriki bi bio malo ovaj, tu neizostavan. There's also freshly picked salad, wild herbs, cucumbers and edible blossoms. This will be complemented by Gorana's yogurt dressing. This rounds off the tangy flavors of the herbs and also goes well with the vegan schnitzel. Biba forms palm-sized patties from the now cooled vegetable mass. They're lightly floured to stop them from sticking. Stavimo filo unutra. Stavimo drugu i pokušamo da to zatvorimo. Mm. 
Like all schnitzel, this vegetarian variant is fried in generous quantities of oil until crispy brown. Hvala, dosta je. Je siguran? Mm, još sam. Najde sam ja. Pa, možemo, počnemo, jedemo. Prijatno? Da. Znaš kako, kako ono kažu, koja žena muža voli tamo ručak dobro salija. Mm -hmm. Da ostane što prije bez bubrega. <laughs> 